As his country fights a dramatic rise in coronavirus infections, US President Donald Trump says that social distancing guidelines will be extended until the end of April. Mr Trump also backed away from his earlier prediction that the country would be back on its feet by Easter. He said he now expected the US to be on its way to recovery by June 1st. His comments came as the country's top infectious disease expert warned the coronavirus outbreak could kill 200,000 Americans and infect millions more. The peak, the highest point of death rates, remember this, is likely to hit in two weeks. Nothing would be worse than declaring victory before the victory is won. Therefore, we will be extending our guidelines to April 30th to slow the spread. Well, for more, let's bring in DW Washington correspondent Carla Bleicher, who has been following the president's address. Carla, what exactly is President Trump's strategy at this stage in the pandemic? Well, as we have heard, uh, President Trump announced that the current measures will stay in place. So that means all non-essential businesses remain closed, schools remain closed, and people are to stay inside as far as that's possible. Uh, on top of that, he aims to expand testing. He announced that the FDA has uh, approved five-minute uh, rapid corona tests, and he wants those to get out. Uh, and on top of that, uh, he wants people in the hardest-hit states, so New York, New Jersey, certain areas of Connecticut, to, to really remain where they are. Uh, and that's what this travel warning that was uh, released on Saturday is to achieve, that these people don't spread out across the country. The president has been criticising the clinics in the hardest hit area of the country, New York. Why? Uh, he mentioned in his press conference today that he was suspicious of the sharp rise in masks that some of the clinics in New York are seeing. And he even uh, implied that people might be taking them. He was saying, you know, what is happening to all these masks? Uh, are they being walked out the back door? Uh, and he has caught quite a bit of fire for that in uh, social media. And another thing that he mentioned was that uh, certain clinics, and he didn't name uh, any specific ones, were holding back uh, respirators for things yet to come, even though they are needed urgently elsewhere right now. Carla, disease experts predict some 200,000 people could die from COVID-19 in the US. How worried is the population at this point in light of that dire prediction? People are taking this very, very seriously. Uh, just on Friday, we saw a poll released, a poll released by Reuters that said 81% uh, uh, of participants in this poll said that they believe these, these social distancing measures should stay in place really for, for the safety of everyone. Uh, and even though the economy is, of course, a big subject here and people, people are worried for their jobs, many people have lost their jobs, only 19% uh, of people who were asked in this poll said that social distancing should end as soon as possible to kind of kickstart the economy and get back things to normal. So uh, people, people are most certainly worried about the situation here in the U.S. DW Washington correspondent Carla Blacker, thank you. Time for a look now at the latest coronavirus developments. And Vietnam's Prime Minister has told major cities in the country to get ready to lock down in a bid to stop the virus spreading. As Japan sees a spike in infections, the Asahi newspaper is reporting that it will expand an entry ban to include foreign nationals travelling from the US, China, South Korea and most of Europe. In Italy, the rate of new infections has slowed to its lowest it's been in four days. Officials are expressing cautious optimism that the stricter shutdown in a Western nation could be showing results. And the South Korean government will provide emergency cash payments to the majority of households to help people cope with the impact of the virus.